Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be adding on to our AI automation playlist where we showcase different services you can start selling. In this video, we're going to be showcasing the third service you can start possibly selling within your AI automation agency, which is going to be a fine tuned chatbot trained on the business's data. Now, what's great about this service is you're going to only need two pieces of software. You're going to need Zapier and OpenAI. Let's go ahead and begin. What we plan on doing today essentially is grabbing specific business data that we care about for the chatbot and inputting it into its back end. And then therefore, when we have conversations with the chatbot, we're going to get fine tuned answers relative to the business data that we provided. In today's context, we're going to be grabbing all the data from a specific business's website, let the chatbot understand all this data. Therefore, then we can have a conversation with the chatbot about everything that is offered by that business through the website's data. What you'll notice though, is you can start using what we're about to show you today in multiple use cases. One use case may be uploading a bunch of customer data and therefore having a fine tuned chatbot that is trained on the data that you provided about the customers of a business. And you're allowing you to ask specific questions rather than searching through that data yourself. Another option in the future will be the ability to look at a bunch of PDFs within the back end of this chatbot. And then the chatbot will essentially scour through those PDFs and find specific data points that you care about. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in this tutorial and see how we're going to build this out. To start off, we're going to go ahead and start using Zapier interfaces to build out this chatbot. This is going to be the front end UI. We're going to go ahead and start one from scratch. Once we have started it from scratch, we're going to go ahead and choose the option of chatbot here. We're going to hit add. We're going to say yes. Essentially, this is going to be the front end. This is how we're going to be able to discuss with the specific chatbot we're dealing with here. And what's so great is that just of recently, Zapier has given us the ability to upload data sources. More specifically, all we can upload right now is a file. But don't worry, in this video, we're going to be able to learn how to format that file correctly and therefore have effective answers while using this chatbot. As I said before, there are going to be new data sources that are going to be arriving here, such as tables and web pages. These are going to be powerful data sources due to the fact that they are going to be always updated live whenever the web page updates or whenever the table updates. For this specific video, though, we're going to be handling how to format a file correctly so that this chatbot can interpret it correctly and give us effective outputs. Now, one thing to note is that when you're dealing with uploading a file, it can only handle up to one megabyte. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but in the context of when you upload just text, you're going to be able to get a lot of information within that one file. OK, let's go ahead and begin. This is going to be our text file here. If you use a Mac OS, it's going to be on the program text edit. You're going to want to make sure you go to the format tab and export it as a text file. In order to ensure that this is going to be a plain text file, we're going to hit command shift T and that's going to switch it so that our text here is going to be not a rich document rather than a plain text file. This is going to be how the file is going to be correctly formatted. So Zapier can start interpreting it correctly for the chatbot. Now that we formatted it correctly and it should have that dot txt in today's video we're going to be taking the web cafe ai marketplace getting all the data associated with this website pushing it towards a text file and then using it in the back end of that chatbot in order to expedite how we get the data from that web page we're going to start using chat gpt plus and a plugin called webpilot in order to do so for your reference, WebPilot essentially allows you to put in website links. And then from the website links, we're able to grab all the data through the plain HTML and essentially format it how we'd like to. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go ahead and start by proctoring this chat so it understands what we're doing here. And therefore, the outputs are going to be more effective. I'm going to say today we plan on getting all the data associated with every single web page on the site we will provide please format with the meta title meta description and then all relevant information found on that web page use bullet points uh, to expedite formatting and we're going to go ahead and just say this is the website we are doing this for and we're going to go ahead and grab that link paste that link and then to ensure that this doesn't go down a rabbit hole we're going to say do respond with yes or no if you understand hit enter and then let's go ahead and see how it interprets this Okay, so it went ahead and understood what we're doing today. 
And as you see, it has that green little box meaning it's accessing the API and it's accessing that live front end web page. And let's see how it formats this output. Okay, perfect. So as you see here, it provided the meta title, meta description, and all relevant information for that specific web page. And as you'll notice here, it gave links, but then it went ahead and formatted it for their UI. We're going to want to go ahead and spell out those links. So when we talk to the chat bot, it can actually provide those links. So we're going to go to say for the links, please spell them, them out. Okay, perfect. So went ahead and spelled them out for us. We're going to go ahead and say, okay, re do the output with the links spelled out and then we should be able to get our first page for that text file okay perfect so as you see here we got the output that we're looking for for all future pages so now this chat is going to understand for future pages it'll understand to spell links it'll understand to use bullet points and so on what you do from here is we're going to go ahead and just copy this so we'll go up to here let me go ahead and grab this real quick if i can once we have copied it, we can go ahead and make sure we format this correctly. So we're going to go ahead and say home page uh, website, do semicolon. I'm going to paste all that information. Let's go ahead and give it more reference here. We're going to say this is all the data for, and then we're going to go and grab our website URL again. Okay. We went ahead and pasted the link there. And as you see here, we got our first formatted page for the website. Now let's go ahead and do another page here. We're going to do all AI automations available on this website. Let's go ahead and jump back here a little bit. And it's going to grab this link, go back to GBT. I say now do this web page, semicolon, input the web page here, and let's see what it does. Okay, so this is good information. We were able to get every single product that is currently listed on this AI automation marketplace. Let's go ahead and ask for every single link associated with the product to be added as well. Add the link for every product hit that and then it should redo this output okay perfect so as you see it had a call upon the plugin multiple times in order to grab the links a couple times here so it did take a couple of seconds here so i went ahead then to ask it to redo the output but with the links associated with every single product okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab the output here essentially i reformatted it so that all the links are spelled out and it's associated with each product coming over here we're gonna go ahead and say shop selection i'm going to do semicolon and then i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more context here essentially i'm going to jump back up to the original output here and i'm going to go ahead and grab this as it's able to give the title for the product and also a little bit of a subtitle so i'm going to grab the meta title here the meta description jump over here we're going to go ahead and input that so now it knows the meta title software meta description and essentially gives a title for each product a small description and then the links associated with each product so on this marketplace if you didn't know we sell AI automation solutions that are pre-built and also do ai training jumping back over to our website here let's go ahead and find another page we can go ahead and get all the data for we're going to go ahead and do the automation calculator here okay now let's do this web page semicolon input the AI automation calculator here and let's go ahead and see the output now i'm gonna go ahead and stop this real quick because we're having an issue here where it keeps formatting the links as clickable we're gonna go ahead and say from here on out spell out every link this is going to allow me to do faster conversations as now i'll know that essentially i want it to be put out like this rather than a clickable link as that's going to be able to be interpreted by the text file and the chat bot a lot better perfect so as you see here we went ahead and got the content the meta title, meta description, we'll go ahead and grab all that information provided here and do AI automation calculator. And the reason we are adding these little headers here is that when we format the uh, inputs and outputs for the chatbot, it's gonna wanna be able to understand what blocks of data it should be looking for for specific questions. So we're gonna add these little headers of AI automation calculator, shop selection, and homepage so it understands the different pages that it's looking for. Let's go ahead and go to another important page found on this website, which is going to be how it works, essentially explaining how you install the pre-built AI automations post-purchase and everything encompassed on the marketplace. I'll go ahead and copy this link and proceed. Let's say, okay, let's do, and then it's going to go ahead and give us a good output here. Perfect. We went ahead and got that information. We're going to copy this, jump over. I'm going to type in how it works with installing web cafe AI software do semicolon input the data relevant to that web page here we're going to go ahead and create more space and let's go ahead and add another web page we're going to come all the way down here we're going to go to the FAQ 
I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Now it may not be able to get the actual answers to the FAQ due to the fact that they're not open, but let's go ahead and see if it does. All right, so as you see here, it wasn't able to get the answers here. So let's go ahead and grab the contents of this page here, and then I'm gonna input the answers manually. And go ahead and say FAQ web page, semicolon, input the information here, and then let me go ahead and uh, provide the answers manually here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of enters here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste over the answers associated with each of these questions. As you see, the reason why I wasn't able to get the text found is because of the fact that it is a accordion. So all I need to do essentially is just copy this and paste it over. Perfect. So I went ahead and get all the information relevant to the FAQ. Let's go ahead and move into another part of this website. We're gonna to go to the about. From here, we're just gonna copy the link. Perfect. We went ahead and got all the information relevant to our about me page. Over here, we're gonna say about me, semicolon provide that and we can go ahead and get one last page here we're gonna go ahead and get the contact page over here let's go ahead and copy that link to say do for this link go ahead and get this output and then we can proceed to take all this data we just created and push it towards the back end of our chatbot perfect so as you see here we went ahead and got the link associated with the web page the meta title meta description let's go ahead and copy this contact web page semicolon paste that and I'm gonna make sure I encompass web page on every single one of these headers so it knows when a new section is being identified here. Do web page and that should be good here. Shop selection, web page. And the reason I'm doing that is as you'll see when we format the chat GPT prompts or the open AI prompts within that chat bot, it's gonna basically ask how we wanna section off this data found in the text file. From here, go ahead and save the text file to your desktop. Once we have saved that text file to our desktop, let's go ahead and find it and add it to the data source for this Zapier interface. We're gonna do add source. We're gonna say browse files. We're gonna choose your file. It went ahead and loaded that file up. And for your reference, the size of that file was only 14 kilobytes, showing you that there is plenty of information you can provide in these text files as the max is one megabyte. We have uploaded it. We're gonna say add source. Once the data source has been successfully integrated, you're gonna see it as the source material here. And then we're gonna be basically asked some specific questions in regards how to handle outputs. We have one or two options, either generate an AI response without the data sources or generate a custom message here. So for this context, we can go ahead and say the custom message is sorry, I'm not able to provide that answer. As you probably saw for other tutorials here, you can go ahead and change the chatbot name. So we can go ahead and just do web cafe AI marketplace we can change the greeting um, the prompt placeholder the directive so in this context we're going to say you're an ai chatbot that knows everything about the web cafe ai marketplace you can go ahead and put in your open ai key here you can choose the model you can choose the max response length here the predictable to randomness on the creativity. Usually keep this at 0.7. You can also have disclosures found within the chatbot and also change the sizing of the chatbot. Okay, now that we went ahead and uploaded a data source to the chatbot here, one other thing I wanna show you is that if you're interested in learning how to put this on a website, go ahead and check out that video right there as that is a whole tutorial showing you how to take the chatbot found here and put it on a website using custom code. Furthermore, as you probably can already assume, there is a lot of different use cases you can use this kind of technology. For now, let's go ahead and proceed here and we're gonna go ahead and use this chatbot. Let's start off by asking, what are the products available on this marketplace? And enter. All right, so as you see here, we were able to get that list found within that data source here. Let's go ahead and up the ante here. We're gonna say, can we get a link? Can we get the link? to this product and do semicolon input the product here as you see there it was able to provide the link to that product so i'm going to go ahead and click it and we're taking directly to the product that we just outlined here the ai article generator pretty cool stuff here as you will probably get the wheels turning in your head you're thinking okay great it's able to understand a text file able to grab links from a text file you can do a ton of different stuff when it comes to you know loading these chatbots with a lot of specific data associated with a business we can take this further. We can ask, what are the main three points about this marketplace? Let's just see from all that data we provided, what it can do. As you see from all the data provided, we got three main points, wide selection of AI tools, easy to use and customer focused. This takes into account everything found in that data file. So we can go as far as saying 
how can I contact? And it should provide the link to the contact page or an email I found through scraping the website. And as you see here, not only does it provide the link to the contact page, it also provides a link to the FAQ page. And if I were to click that, it takes us straight to the uh, contact page, which is really good. And from here, it even gives other possible solutions that may troubleshoot your issue. Now you can see the potential when building out data driven chatbots. This built on Zapier can be taken away. That's just doing with the back end of interfaces. We do more tutorials when it comes to interfaces. So maybe check out those if you want to learn more about how to implement this AI chatbot to a website or understand different ways this AI chatbot can be useful to a business. So in this tutorial, we showed you a really simple way to start building out fine tuned chatbots that are trained on business data. Now there's going to be a ton of different use cases in the future on how we can really apply this as different services for businesses. Once we get the ability to add tables and the ability to use web pages, as this is going to allow us to give live data to the chatbots to start utilizing. If you're interested in learning more about AI automation solutions, you can start selling in your business. Make sure to check out the place I did this video as we're diving into a bunch when it comes to AI and Zapier and overall AI automation as a sellable service. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.